Hi, it's David B. and Cooley from TV Worth Watching for Best TV Tomorrow. Tomorrow is Thursday, November 26th, which means tomorrow is Thanksgiving. It explains my shirt, but it doesn't explain why so few of us are with other people with whom we want to give thanks. So, I'm a worst case scenario guy, so I will tell you, just give thanks for not having died yet. And if you know somebody who has died, I'm really sorry. This is uh, the best you can hope for in 2020 is to get to the end of it and see the pages turn. And I wish you all the best of luck and as much love as I can send out through the 21st century equivalent of a cathode ray tube. So what do I have to recommend uh, for Thanksgiving? For kids, there's The Wizard of Oz on TBS. Uh, all day long, there's a Hitchcock marathon on Turner Classic Movies. And at night on Showtime, there's the premiere on television of 1917. That seems many years late, but that's the name of the movie. It's the World War I movie directed by uh, Sam Mendes that is just fantastically photographed and uh, about as intense a movie experience as you'll have these days. Why you want an intense movie experience these days, that's up to you. But if you drank enough at Thanksgiving dinner, seated there sitting by yourself, why not? The challenges of prepping this movie are the challenges of prepping a normal movie times about five. We had to measure every step of the journey. In the early days of rehearsing, me and Joel, Sam and Roger turned up to this open field that was pretty much nothing there other than grass. And we had the script in our hand and we literally just walked and talked every single scene to see how long it took us to get from A to B. The scene has to be the exact length of the land and the land cannot be longer than the scene, and the scene cannot be longer than the land. And so you have to rehearse every line of dialogue on location. And that's where it overlaps with doing theatre, because the world has to be crafted around the rhythm of the script. We had a lot of group conversations about the sets, whether it was over models or illustrations that Dennis had done. We wanted to understand the physicality of what we had to build. We built over a mile of trenches. To dig it was quite a task. When we were digging, we were still doing rehearsals. We were still staking out the trench lengths so that we could hone in the exact distances that we needed. You almost have to change the way you think about how we view movies as a viewer and how we make movies as a filmmaker. The art department, more than anyone, has been really affected just figuring out the scale of how large these sets need to be. It's a highly choreographed piece, so every inch has to be accounted for. It was an amazing amount of work. Every place that we went was a magnitude of problems to solve. You have all these locations that are basically just ground, and you have to create something out of it. Roger and Dennis had to work together to figure out a set that could incorporate where the camera needed to be, making sure it felt natural and organic within the scene. With the timeline and the picking clock, when you start the film, there's no turning back. And the myriads of problems that come up, everything will hit you and everything did hit us in order to create the spaces that we did.